Okay, let's talk about colors and typography. First, let's take a look at colors. Yeah, color, as we know, is crucial to represent our app brand. Yeah, um, let's have a little quiz over here. Yeah, uh, can you mention what color of this brand? Yeah, um, although this brand comes from Indonesia, yeah, so for uh, everyone else, yeah, I, I apologize. Yeah, you, you can uh, try to Google it. Yeah, for the color of these brands, Tokopedia, uh, which is green, and then Ovo, it's um, purple. Yeah. Uh, blee blee, I think it's blue. Then Pukalapa, um, red, Twitter. Yeah, for for Twitter, I I think uh, you all know. Yeah, uh, it's um, let's see, cyan, Facebook. Yeah, another blue, uh, darker blue maybe. Uh, Shopee, Shopee. I think is orange. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and so on. Yeah, so as you can see. Uh, every brand has their own color, yeah, a distinct color to differentiate among other competitor brands. Yeah, uh, here we have a Commonwealth Bank. The color is uh, what is this color? Yeah, yellow. Yeah, please forgive my uh, limited knowledge of a color. Yeah, maybe we have a name, a specific name for this color, but for me it's yellow. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can uh, suggest me the correct name of the color in the comments below. Yeah. So material color also, uh, for the material design also specifies the guideline for the color. And material design comes designed with a built-in color. Yeah, we have provided or we have. Oh, the color is not present here, so. Uh, I think uh, I must start my AVD. Yeah, but if you remember when we create an application in Android Studio and when, when we test our application, yeah, we have this default color. Oh yeah. Oh well. Uh, let me uh, call put my emulator. Yeah. And let's uh, let's discuss this first yeah while my emulator is cold putting so the material design specifies the colors for primary and secondary colors and variants of primary and secondary colors as well as additional ui colors a color for backgrounds surfaces errors typography and iconography as well yeah the guideline is very extensive uh, I will give you the link in the description here. Yeah? Uh, let's take a look at the material design color system. Yeah, so we have uh, colors here and have palettes. Uh, we can uh, define uh, some colors. Yeah, uh, we will learn about primary and secondary color after this. Yeah, and we have another colors, maybe for the background, surface, error, and on colors. Yeah, don't worry, we will learn it later. Okay, then. Yeah, this is the example of the color systems in material design. Let's discuss about the color, yeah, which is a primary color over here. A primary color is the color displays most frequently across our application screen and components. Yeah, so for example, if I open my previous uh, projects, let's say this fragment. Yeah, the primary color is actually purple. Yeah, this is the default color for our application. Yeah, and uh, what else I have here? Yeah, ah, the movie app. The movie app. Yeah, I have a primary color here. Although uh, I have uh, inconsistent coloring over here. Yeah, I have an orange. Then I have a cyan as well as the primary color, which is purple. Yeah, uh, it is not a good practice. Yeah, to have uh, too many colors in our application in one screen. 
And let's see what else I have here. Oh, Upaya event. Oh, it's, it's yeah, as you can see here, uh, we have used the default primary color, yeah? So the primary color emphasizes our brand. Yeah, uh, maybe I can open some default applications over here. Hmm, let's see. Now, can I open Gmail without specifying um Oh, I must specify uh, email address, yeah. But if you remember, uh, Gmail color is red. Yeah, and uh, for in the application, uh, it is used for the primary color. Yeah, and maybe uh, I don't have so many options over here. Yeah, if you use any other applications, uh, like WhatsApp, for example, yeah, the primary color is actually green. Yeah, that's why in the WhatsApp application, you will have a green, um, let's see, in the top, yeah, in the top bar. Uh, I hope you can understand what I mean. Yeah, if, you, if not, then you can uh, open your... A device your yeah, your android device and you have whatsapp installed then yeah you may know what i mean yeah so uh, whatsapp uses green for the primary color yeah because it emphasizes the brand yeah this example uses uh, three variants of primary color so we have a primary purple here uh, they call it a primary uh, purple 500 the variations is purple 700 yeah which is uh, darker and uh, purple 200 which is lighter yeah and as you can see here uh, the variance is used um, purple 700 i think it's used in the graph and purple 200 is used in the patterns here the fab over here uh, we also have an option to use a secondary color yeah, secondary colors gives accent and can be sparingly used to make our UI components stand out. Yeah, for example, uh, in the Ubaya event, uh, we have the progress bar. Yeah, it is colored differently from the button. Uh, our primary color is purple, but the progress bar is colored cyan. Yeah, yeah or blue maybe. Yeah, so this is a secondary color. Yeah, uh, it will provide or it will make the progress bar stands out from the rest of the user interface components if you don't want to use a secondary color it's okay yeah you still have the option of using a vari variance of a primary colors yeah so for example in this uh, application yeah it does not use any secondary color yeah but for uh, accenting some a user interface elements it uses a variation of the primary color yeah but if you wish to use a secondary color then it's fine it is best used for fabs yeah selecting controls like sliders and switches highlighting selected text progress bars as you can see here yeah as well as links and headlines yeah so this is an example of an application that uses a two variants of a primary color and one secondary color oh the name is teal yeah not cyan yeah this one is teal so the secondary color is used in the fab button over here yeah to help you to pick the right color for your application we have um, two tools over here you can use a col color combinations tool at the coolers.co yeah, don't worry the links will be provided in the description or you can also use a material color tool yeah let's take a look at its tools we have yeah let's take a look at the tools provided by the material team yeah in the material design so we have a selection of material palette over here and we have the names of the color red, pink, purple, deep purple, indigo, blue, light blue, and so on. Yeah, and here is uh, some examples of the usage of the primary colors and secondary colors. Yeah. 
and here we have a currency scheme the primary colors and secondary colors as you can see here the secondary colors is not used yeah but if we want uh, we can specify a color for the secondary color okay let's take a look over here uh, let's change some uh, let's play with these tools yeah uh, I will select the primary colors first and maybe let's see I want uh, to use maybe red red 500 yeah after you activate the primary or secondary panel yeah or actually it's a card yeah, over here uh, you can see the shadow yeah and then you can select any colors you wish yeah usually uh, select between this uh, numbers yeah uh, 50 to 900 uh, the a is usually used for accents yeah so a is uh, reserved for secondary yeah and you can select uh, usually it's best to use the uh, average color yeah average intensity which is 500 so like cyan maybe or light green uh, yellow orange and so on yeah i will choose red and for secondary color yeah uh, you can use variants of the primary colors maybe something like this yeah or you can select any colors as well yeah and it is usually best to use the a version yeah a stands for accent yeah for example um, I want uh, to use yellow like this and you may preview the effect of this uh, theme yeah? or current scheme the primary color is red and secondary color is uh, yellow yeah, you can preview it over here yeah, and then we have the accessibility tab yeah, it actually checks for your colors yeah, for the primary and it checks against the text, large text and normal text, as well as the colors, uh, white text and black text. Yeah, it will check for uh, the legibility or readability for this color selection. Yeah, and as you can see here, um, if I choose my primary color is red, uh, the white text for normal if my normal text is white it is not legible yeah, it is hard to actually read the text if it is colored white yeah and so on uh, you can take a look or preview uh, actually review yeah review the use of colors over here okay uh, you can play with this color tool yeah if you want uh, and actually we have two more options here yeah. text on primary uh, it is usually best to leave it alone yeah but if you wish maybe uh, you want to change the text on primary yeah maybe you want to go well uh, i will choose a blue yeah but as you can see here uh, it is not really legible yeah so usually it is best to leave it alone yeah you can leave it and you can reset it yeah just reset it the default value is white yeah if you see that the color selection is limited uh, you can always choose for custom color yeah so you have a color wheel over here as well as the uh, intensity i think the intensity and if you know the code for the color you can also paste it over here yeah this is the user material color tool now let's take a look at the second tool uh, which is a coolers.co ah yeah okay <laughs> i will close it then uh, you can take a look at uh, some color palettes over here 
and let's say um okay yeah uh, i think i like this color oh a few palette i think yeah uh, we can take a look at this palette and as you see here uh, they provide the hex value for this color let's just copy it and let's say i want to use it as a primary color like this yeah and then let's say for the um, secondary color maybe i will use this one Yeah, as you can see, uh, we can mix and match colors as we wish. Yeah, but don't forget to check for the legibility. Yeah, uh, for example, here uh, for the primary color, white, white texts are not legible at all. So, yeah, maybe select a darker color for this primary. Yeah? and so on yeah you can play with the colors as you wish yep uh, i'll give you some time to actually select your favorite color over here yeah and after you have picked the colors then uh, we will see how to use it later okay so for example i will revert back to my selection for oh sorry for the red i will use this one uh, for the primary i will use red and for the secondary i will use um okay amber now yeah uh, if you want to actually select your color first then please pause this video yeah then play around with the color tool after you have satisfied with the color selection then just continue the video okay Okay, now if you have selected your colors, yeah, how to actually use it? Uh, we can define our color in here. Yeah, uh, we must describe first the color name and the value for the color, yeah, the color code to be used later in the style of theme. Yeah, we will define it on the colors.xml file. Okay, so open your Android Studio. I will close the FED Manager. Yeah, in the Android Studio, open the REST folder, then values, you will see colors.xml, open it. Yeah, and then please define your color over there. Yeah, so um, I use this uh, red, uh, I think it's red 500, okay, red 500, so I will define my color with the name of red 500 and the value is let's just copy this uh, code yeah f f4 or oh, f4 for 336 yeah like this but if you notice my code is only a uh, six digit long yeah one two three four five six yeah uh, and as you can see above yeah above my red 500 we have actually eight digit of color yeah but the uh, first two digits are for alpha yeah uh, if you don't specify any alpha then it will default to ff yeah, if you want uh, you can specify an uh, alpha value for example like zero zero yeah but obviously <laughs> your color will not be visible yeah if you use the alpha of zero yeah, so usually uh, we only need six digits, yeah, red value, green value, and blue value. Yeah, all of them are in hexadecimal, so we need six digits of color code. And I will define my other uh, color, what is it, yeah? Uh, it is called an, oh, amber, amber, a... A seven hundred, and the code is 
FFIP00, okay. Just copy and paste it over here. Yeah, okay, that's the first step. Yeah, we have defined our custom color. Yeah, but if you uh, try it right now, if you try to run your application, maybe I will add my button. Yeah, as you can see here, my button is still purple. Okay, and I will uh, try to run my application, yeah. As you can see in the design view, my button is still purple. Okay, uh, if you want, uh, you can also add these two colors or any colors you like, yeah. Um, maybe by playing in the color tool. And uh, let's add these two colors then, light gray and dark gray. Yeah, while waiting for my cradle to finish. I will add two new colors. Color name is uh, light. Uh, what is the first one? Yeah? The first one. Oh, yeah. Light gray. Light gray. And the value or the code is DD, DD, DD. Okay. D, 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 60s, yeah. And the other one, the color for uh, dark gray is to be, to be, to be, okay. To be, to be, to be. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, my application is already running in my emulator. Yeah, the primary color is still purple and the secondary color is still yeah the secondary color is not visible over here uh, let's see uh, let's add an FAP because the color uh, usually uses the T accent and I don't have uh, the uh, factor asset uh, I think I will use this one yeah as you can see the color is still teal yeah yeah, the secondary color is still teal. Yeah, how to actually change our primary and secondary color then? Yeah, but before that, uh, if by any chance you still use Android Studio prior to version 4.1, yeah, you must define it in the styles.xml file. Yeah, so in the Android Studio 4.0 and before, uh, we have a styles.xml file which contains the information of color, font, shape, and so on that we can apply to theme our UI in our application. Yeah, it will look something like this. But for us, yeah, because we use Android Studio 4.1 and newer, yeah. Uh, the latest material design guideline introduces themes. Yeah. Be before, we only have styles, but now we have themes as well as styles. Yeah. They are fundamentally different. Style is actually a collection of few attributes, and it is applied to one widget only, or one view only. Meanwhile, for theme, it is a collection of named resource, and it applies anywhere, not specific to a particular view. Yeah, later uh, to be able to understand the difference between style and themes, you can read the medium uh, entry over here. Yeah? It's from Android developers. I will provide the link in the description. So starting from Android Studio 4.1, yeah, we no longer use uh, styles XML. Yeah, it is in the values. Yeah, as you can see here, I don't have uh, styles XML. But instead, I have two themes.xml. Yeah, the one, uh, the first is themes.xml. The second one is themes.xml, but uh, we have a suffix night. What is actually these two files then? Yeah, uh, as I said before, starting from Android Studio 4.1, all styles uh, is put on one file, themes.xml. Actually, there, there are two. Yeah, themes XML and for the night value. 
Yeah, the values knight uh, slash teams SML actually applies to dark mode, which is introduced in Android 10 or beyond. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Yeah, the themes XML. It will look something like this. Uh, let's open our themes XML. Yeah, resources and we have a style uh, with the name of theme dot hello material or your uh, project name, and we have a parent uh, which usually applies like this. Yeah, it's the same here. Yeah? Parent theme and uh, inside this style, we have so many items. Yeah, and as you can see here, uh, we are we define the color primary, color primary variant, color secondary, and so on. So these are the definitions of the colors primary, secondary, and so on. And the color value is stored in the colors.xml. Yeah, so a set of the primary and secondary color, we have many colors for surface, background, and errors, and we also have the on colors. Yeah, it dictates a few color on another color. Yeah, so uh, on primary is actually a text color on a primary color. Yeah, you can check the look uh, um, in more depth in these links. Yeah, I will provide. Uh, the links in the description. Yeah, so many links yeah, for uh, this topic. Okay, so uh, to use our color, yeah, on the themes XML, let's add this item. Yeah, let's add it over here, item, and give it a name of color background, color background, Android color background. Hmm, it's not here. Android. Now, this one, Android color background. And let's give it the value of color slash. Hmm, color slash. Uh, let's give it the um, ah, light gray. Light gray. Yeah, and if you want, now uh, you can modify the color primary. I will modify my primary color to use red 500. Yeah, but because I have not defined any variant, yeah, so I will leave it as it is. For the secondary color, I will provide amber A700. Yeah, in the meantime, uh, let's also add a new item in the themes XML, but this one for the night. Yeah, I will copy this one. But uh, let's change this into dark gray. Yeah, and if you want, uh, you can also modify the primary color, but for the dark theme. Yeah, uh, let's say Oh well, uh, I will define more colors then. Color name uh, red. Yeah, this one is red. I think it's red nine hundred. And the uh, color value is PA zero 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 D. Okay. Yeah, if you, uh, as you can see here, we, the Android Studio actually provides us the preview of the color. It is actually clickable. Yeah, so if you click it, uh, you can actually uh, pick any colors you want. Yeah, so uh, let's say for the duck theme. Uh, I will use the color primary is actually red 900. Okay, let's try our application then. Yeah? Uh, before trying, uh, please make sure you turn off dark or night mode. Yeah, we will try the default theme, yeah, which is a day theme. 
Yeah, as you can see here, now my application uses the red 500 for the primary color. That's why my button also changes in color. And for my FAP, yeah, it uses a teal, uh, sorry, not teal, amber A700. Yeah, although for the uh, status bar color, it's still purple, yeah, because I have not defined any other color. Yeah, as you can see here, the status bar color is actually a color, color primary variant. The color primary variant here, I still use purple 700. So, oh well, yeah. Oh, actually, I can uh, change this face into red 900 as well. Yeah, uh, you can test it. And as you can see here, my uh, background color for this application or this activity also changes to a light gray. Yeah, but now if I activate dark mode, where is it? Yeah. Um, it's not here. Uh, okay, let me edit it first. Ah, this one. I want the dark theme. Okay. Uh, okay, I will go back then. It's over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, I will edit it to be at the first page. Ah, like this. And, yeah. Uh, this is the light color or the day theme and if I activate dark mode yeah as you can see here now my application also uses the dark theme yeah although oh okay the color on primary is dark yeah, yeah it's correct uh, but for the color primary yeah I wonder because my color primary is should be red 900 but it's actually black oh and uh, I don't change the secondary color but as you can see here the secondary color actually changes yeah, to the till 200 yeah so now uh, you can specify your application theme for day theme yeah as well as the dark theme yeah or some people call it night mode so uh, the night theme is defined at the themes sml night and it will be automatically applied when the dark or night mode is activated yeah um you can follow the guideline for dark theme over here again because it is a link i will provide the link to in the description yeah, yeah so uh, please adhere to this design uh, guidelines for providing uh, dark mode in your application okay if you want to actually test your design yeah instead of running it in the emulator of div or your device yeah, which takes quite some time uh, we can also take a look in the design panel yeah in here so uh, we can uh, preview these themes on the design window click this button the orientation then uh, let's see. Oh, it is moved. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, the Android Studio 4.1. Uh, I think this screenshot comes for Android Studio 4.0. Yeah, in uh, Android Studio 4.1, it is moved. Uh, they have a dedicated uh, button here. Yeah, you can easily switch between night and day theme. Okay, that's all about colors.
Yeah, now about the typography, actually we have already uh, learned how to actually use uh, Google Font in our application, yeah, if you remember. Yeah, now uh, let's try to apply some typography in our application. So a app needs at least two typefaces, usually for the header and the body. And uh, it is recommended to use Google Fonts. They are free and easy to use, easy to embed to our application in Android Studio. Yeah, if you want to use a tool to select uh, the correct combinations of header and body font, uh, you can use this website, fontpair.co. Again, the link will be in the description. Yeah, and uh, you can see here, I uh, they have font pairs. Uh, we can browse, maybe, uh, let's see, Rubik and Carla. Yeah, like this, or maybe other. Uh, Chifo and Overpass, like this. And many others, yeah, Work Sans and Peter. Yeah, you can select any font pairs as you wish. Now, the easiest way to include fonts on our to our project is through font family attribute. Yeah, if you remember. So please select any font pairs as you want. Yeah, for so for example, let's see. Yeah, maybe I like this font, Fira Sans and Mary Weather. Yep. Uh, if you want to pick your color first, then please pause this video yeah, and uh, go to the fontpair.co, pick your own font pairs, then please resume uh, watching this video. Yeah, if you are finished, then go to the activity main out yeah, and select any text. Yeah, I have a button here over here. Then search for the font family attribute and add it as usual. Yeah. So for example, uh, I use Firasans. Yeah, this one. Uh, please select add to font, uh, add font to project. And because this is uh, for the Firasans, I want to use it for the header. I think I will go to. Uh, the bold version, yeah, Vira Sans bold then. And I will use, uh, I will change the font family again, but this time for the Mary Weather. Mary Weather, Mary Weather, oh, Mary Weather only. Yeah, Mary Weather, I will uh, import the regular, select and font to project, and Yeah, that's all. And then uh, I will uh, refer back to font family. Yeah, because I actually I only want to add the font family. Yeah, I don't really need. Uh, I don't really want to change the font for now. Okay. Um. Please add two of your favorite fonts for the header and the body. Yeah, now uh, let's change or let's add some style, a new style for our typography. Yeah, we can simply add a new style in the themes XML. Yeah, and you can also add it in the night theme. Yes, so we will do it twice. Where to actually add the new theme? Yeah, I will go to the values first. Yeah, and I will collapse my style tag please add it after the theme hello material style yeah so i will declare it over here style name it as you wish so for example i will name it uh, header one yeah and uh, actually you can simply close the style yeah. if you want uh, you can also follow this uh, slide yeah the, by specifying a pattern but uh, I think I, I won't use a parent for now. 
Then uh, inside the style tag, we can specify any style as we wish. Yeah, we can change the attribute. So for example, for heading one, we change the font family to something else and the text size to something else. Let's do that, yeah. Okay, for the header one, let's add a new item, the font family, but I will use the Android font family. Oh, sorry, not Android font family, but uh, simply font family, yeah. Font family, then provide the add font slash, uh, what is it? Ah, this one, Vira Sans Bold. Then I will specify the text size. Android text size, maybe uh, let's follow 48 SP. Yeah, oh, sorry, not, not item. Let's define the second style. And let's name it sub. Header. Yeah, it's subtitle over here, um, but I will name it a subtitle. The font family uses uh, the second font. Okay. Item name font family. Let's use the font uh, Meriwether or your second uh, font. Yeah. But let's make it full text style android text style give it a value of bold and uh, for the text size uh, let's give it 14 sp hmm. uh, we actually want this to be a subheader but the font is actually smaller than the body okay then um let's say yeah 14 sp but later for the body i will decrease the font size and again the last one is for the body itself uh font family first yeah uh, but actually the other is not doesn't matter yeah the other doesn't matter Okay, font family, it's the Meriwether, and for the text size, I will give it maybe just 12, yeah, 12 SP, oops. Okay, I think that's all for our style then. Yeah, we add uh, three new styles into our theme. Now, how to use these styles then? Yeah, we will do it later in uh, a couple more videos. Yeah, but uh, for the next video, let's take a look at one of the material design components, which is a few pager. Yeah, what is a few pager? Yeah, please don't go anywhere. Let's continue to the next video.